Hi Ani. Hi so, Janak Raman. Welcome back. And uh, so I thought we should now make some progress into some of these hardware experiments that we were doing. So going into the systems side of things. Exactly. Okay. Right? So uh, uh, so you remember this uh, setup that we had, right? We had a mic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And this was connected to the uh, oscilloscope, right? Input, which is connected to the USB to this computer, right? And therefore, whatever we spoke here. Mm -hmm. We were able to see as an analog waveform in yes. the uh, oscilloscope, right? Yes. So I'm going to start with that experiment again. Okay. okay. So what I'll do is I'll go back to this window, which is the oscilloscope, and the microphone is connected through channel one. Yes, and I can already see it's picking up what we are talking about. It is picking up because I'm closer. It seems to be louder as well. Exactly right, and since I'm further away, it seems to be slightly softer. Yes. Right, and uh, we have set the uh, power supply at 3.5 volt. So this guy is somewhere at 1.75 volt. Okay, mm. the DC, right? The bias is about around 1.75 volt. The audio signal is oscillating above and below, right? Uh, depending on how much of energy we uh, speak with. Okay, so this we saw in great detail earlier. So now I want to do uh, an incremental experiment over this. Hmm. Okay. 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 So I am sure you see this second uh, headphone. Yes. Earphone that I have here. Yes. This also uh, has a microphone, mm -hmm. right? And uh, this is connected to the audio port of the computer. Hmm. Okay. 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 So uh, it basically has a single, uh, you know. Let me just. Uh, you uh, know, I think they call I it a 3.5 mm. Yeah, a 3.5 mm jack, which I will show you later after the experiment, and that is connected to the uh, audio input, right? And with that, we can actually speak. You know, we, uh, all of us are very comfortable making these online calls and you know yes. for meetings and stuff I like that. I think most people who have a cell phone yes. now have used this kind of uh, earplugs with a wired connection. Wired connection for a phone. microphone and a headphone, right? right? So exactly that's what I have now. I have also installed an additional software okay. called Audacity. Mm, okay. Okay. This is a free software that can do some audio processing. Okay. Okay. And what I am going to do now is I am going to go ahead and record something which will be picked up by this microphone. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 And of course, while we talk, the other microphone that we have here, right, this microphone is going to pick up what we speak simultaneously. So both mics are going to be active and I am going to do something and we will we'll discuss sure. okay, what happens sure. here, right. So what I will do first is I will hit the record button okay so you can already see that some audio is being picked up here okay yes. and if simultaneously when you look at this mm -hmm. uh, oscilloscope which is being picked up by the other microphone you are seeing some similar audio waveform so the time scales here are different from sure. what we see here so therefore you know if you zoom into these signals they may appear similar. a little bit yeah, similar. Similar, correct. Right? And I am guessing mm. the amplitude scale is also different. Exactly. Okay. So the amplitude scale is different, time scale is different, but the end result is both of them are simultaneously capturing. So if I now put on this microphone here, mm -hmm. okay, and get the mic closer to my mouth, you can see that it is picking up a much higher amplitude signal. That's right. Right? Yeah. So uh, clearly, this is the mic that is going into the computer, and this mic has nothing to do with this particular. So if you speak there now. Okay. So my audio, of course, now I am going closer to the mic. Exactly. Is really picking right? up a lot. And uh, when you, now you speak into that. Okay. So that is not being captured on your microphone at all. Exactly. Very interesting. Right. Okay. Yeah. So clearly we know which input is going where. Yes. Okay. Now what is the difference between this oscilloscope, right? Mm -hmm. This in some sense is showing us a visual representation mm. of that audio signal right. compared to this mm. oscilloscope. Right? So what I will do is I will hit the space bar and I will stop recording. You have stopped recording. Okay, I have stopped recording. Now okay. I come here and I ask you what did we speak all this while? Where mm. is that signal here? It is gone, right? It is not displaying it anymore. It is gone. 
is gone, mm. right? So, yeah. in some sense, the analog oscilloscopes that we had like a couple of decades ago mm -hmm. was like this. You can visualize it as it happens, but once it's gone, it's gone. That's right. It's it's almost like a microphone plus speaker system. Right? Exactly. So it there is no recording going on. Yes. It is just amplifying it and then sending it out through a speaker for uh, you know exactly. for a large audience. Exactly. So that is a speaker gives a oral feel, whereas this gives you a visual visual feel. Right. Exactly. So fundamentally, there is you know something different happening in this oscilloscope. Mm. Right. And uh, in fact, I can do one more thing here. We, we, we are all comfortable with the use of computers today, right? And therefore, I will say, first I will save the project, okay, as mm -hmm. a file, okay, uh, as some test. Okay, mm -hmm. so I can reopen. Now, if I close this, right, I can actually reopen this project. Uh, I can open this Audacity software again. Okay. Okay. I can come here and look at recent files and it says. Mm, so you are able to get it back I'm able because to, you have saved it as a file. I have saved it as a file. Okay. okay. So in fact, you can do some inter more interesting things. You can export as a WAV file. Okay. Okay. And I am going to say put it uh, on my desktop here test audio dot wave mm. okay uh, we could skip these details because mm -hmm. this is artist name title name sure. and all that so we'll not worry about that for now yeah okay and um, that file is sitting on my desktop here okay and if I go back close this again right let me open this audacity again okay and let me just drag this wow file okay okay so we stored a file there as a something called a wave file it said pcm or something okay 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 and we got the waveform back mm. so, so we have gone back in time back in right right in right. some sense okay so really the question is what happened Right? Why is this computer allowing us to do this going back in time, mm -hmm. whereas the oscilloscope is not allowing us to do that? Right. Right. So that's the primary discussion in this week. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, so let us look at you know these some of these numbers again, just like the previous experiments. We will not get bogged down by the details. We'll make a note of these numbers, and then we'll come back later and explain. What Absolutely. They are. Okay. By the way, this reminds me. In the olden days, mm -hmm. so we talked about the example of speaking into a mic and sending it out through a speaker. But in the olden days, you used to have cassette tapes. Yes. With magnetic tape. Yeah. You could do something like this on that tape. Yes. Right. Exactly. You could record it from a mic, store it onto the tape. Yes. And then listen to it at any time you want exactly. on a tape recorder. Exactly. Or on a tape player. Right? Absolutely. Yes. Except the computer is doing it. I assume differently. Yeah, it's doing it differently. That was like you said, some magnetic media was being yes, used to write right. data. Yes. Whereas here it is being done in a very different manner. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so let us look at, you know, first of all, when I hit the record button again, right. Uh, maybe I'll wait, I'll stop this. Can I add a new uh, track? One second. I want to see if I can just add add new mono track. Ah, okay. So now this gets interesting. So you remember that concert that we saw that we saw so yes. many instruments. Yes. Right. Each of them will appear like a track. A track. Now. Okay? Yes. Yes. So the audio. I remember we were trying to mix many cha channels. I think that's what we we said called them channels. Yes. Right. Exactly. Right. So we had a vocal channel coming from SPB. We had a guitar. We had a drum. So all these are different tracks now right, okay right so i already have you know an existing track that i have opened which okay. was recorded earlier okay and it now says mono 44 100 hertz mm -hmm. 16 bit pcm yes okay let's make a note of this okay okay so it's saying 44 100 hertz Okay. Okay. Sixteen bit PCM. PCM. Okay. Okay. These are the three keywords that appear there. 
right and now I can do a record okay what you see is it is recording of the uh, you know from the other on the other channel yes right and I actually have the opportunity to play both of them back together sure now, sure right so uh, interesting so it's almost like like what you said no you use the resistive mixers yes to control how much amplitude you have and then make, combine them together you're exactly, doing the same thing here. exactly mm -hmm. right okay so in this I can even since it's uh, audacity is an audio uh, you know processor mm -hmm. you can actually do all of them on this computer also you okay. can adjust the volume of this you can adjust the volume of that how in what ratio they mix you can even do some filtering on it and all that okay so we'll we'll come to all that later right but fundamentally what us what do these numbers indicate so I mean just if you were you know just to look at this number dimensionally mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. can you tell me what do you think it's going to indicate okay so this 44 kilohertz refers to frequency mm -hmm. frequency right right because Hertz is frequency, hertz is frequency. we have seen that yes. before yes right that's the inverse of time in some way exactly okay then uh, bits actually I don't even know what a bit is you don't know what a bit is exactly right, right? so let's leave this out of the discussion for now we'll okay. focus only on the 44 100 hertz sure, sure. okay so before we go into that let's go and see what other options I have first mm. right okay. Who's, so what is it's 44 100 is not sacrosanct okay so I can say sample rate there mm. seems to be a range of numbers mm. right I can do 8000 hertz Oh, okay. so that 44 hertz refers to the sampling sample rate. Yes, it says okay. project sample rate. Rate sample okay. so rate. So that's okay. a great observation. Yes. So this is what I call as sample rate. So I can see where the frequency because the rate yes. is normally tied to a frequency. Exactly. Right? Something cyclical happening. Exactly. Is the rate of change is usually something with time always, Correct. right? Correct. So 44,100 hertz. Well, I could do this at 8000 hertz Simil, uh, similarly the default sample format mm. I have multiple options 16 bit 24 bit 32 bit float okay? okay so these are quite complicated terms but I can choose from these numbers mm -hmm. also okay so let us not worry about all this uh, I am also not going to worry about this channel of mono versus stereo, stereo. we will just focus on mono sure. it is like one mic is operational right that is all right correct so I'll do this, and then I am going to now create, um, you know, sorry, track new mono track. Okay. Now it says 8,000 hertz, 16 bit mm. PCM. Okay. Yes. So therefore, when I do a recording on this now, okay, it's going to be very different. In some mm. sense, it could be different from what we had with respect to 44,100 hertz. Okay, we don't know what that exactly means yet, so yes. we will come to that. Sure. Right. But like you said, it has got to do something to do with time yes. and frequency. Okay, because Correct. hertz is this thing. So we were able to record at 8,000 hertz. Right. Looks like we have other options here, which are like some 16,000 hertz, and you know, mm -hmm. project sampling rate is. 16,000 hertz, 32,000 hertz, right, uh, 44, 48, 96 and so on. So there yes. are just various numbers. So let us not worry about that too much now, okay.